Hey, I'm Macy, and welcome back to another one of my cozy productive vlogs. Today's episode features moments of comfort in my life these days. I love a cozy and slow morning. I'll do anything to make the day feel longer and less repetitive. These days, maybe because it's January, the weather has been so dull and gloomy. Days like today are actually really hard to come by. There's actually some sunlight glowing in my home. Every morning, I do the same things usually, but I try to find the joy in the mundane. The first things that I do each morning are check on my Cozy Lee community discord, answer emails, and respond to my social media comments. Cozy drink of the day is a cold foam latte. This has been my go-to because of how quick and easy it is. To make it, I just fill up my cup one fourth of the way with espresso. I add my milk of choice, which is 2%, and I top with some cold foam. A good morning drink really eases me into the day. When I'm all settled in, I begin digital journaling to plan my days. Have you guys ever tried these matcha lint chocolates? I love matcha and I actually never tried this before. It's actually surprisingly really good. Digital planning is a lot of fun to me and perfect since I love writing neat and organized notes and using a lot of stickers. I love a good wind down period. I feel like I don't really get them enough. I love watching TV show reviews in my downtime. Currently, I'm watching Bad Batch Season 2, which is my favorite Star Wars show if you've seen my other content. I love watching other YouTubers' thoughts on the latest episodes. I just find it really entertaining and fun. Ah, uh, a good homemade healthy meal. Cooking is my therapy, and I need to dedicate time to this every day. Today, I'm preparing pad thai and fried tofu. I never cooked pad thai before, so this is gonna be a lot of fun. I love preparing all of the ingredients neatly. I think this is my favorite part of the process. Whenever I cook my family and I have homemade meal, I just feel a lot healthier and happier in general. I love knowing exactly what I put into my body when I eat, and it's a great way to spend some time with myself. So after preparing the garlic, onions, and dried shrimp for the pad thai, it's time to bread the tofu. I coat the tofu with egg and Japanese breadcrumbs. In my opinion, eating tofu this way is so tasty and it makes the meal a lot more enjoyable. Frying everything was interesting. So I started off with the aromatics for the pad thai on a high temperature wok, which really gives it this nice smoky taste. On the other side of the stove, I'm frying the tofu carefully without destroying them. Once the onions, garlic, and dried shrimp are fried, it's time to add the pad thai noodles. So this is kind of where I messed up. I forgot to soak the noodles beforehand, so I ended up adding water into the wok and steaming it for a lot longer. But eventually it all worked out, and I know better for next time. I also added the pad thai sauce, but I'm gonna try home making this next time. Here's how it turned out. Surprisingly, it tasted really good and pretty similar to how it tastes at restaurants. I actually just recently organized my keyboard collection, but before I show you, here's a quick preview of my collection. Alright, so which keyboard did you like the most? Aesthetic-wise? Sound-wise? Let me know in the comments. I finally found a home for my collection on this open shelf, and I love the way it looks so much. So even when I'm not actively using a keyboard, I still get to enjoy the way it looks in storage. Lately, I actually tried something new. 
So in 2023, I promised myself that I would find new hobbies. My sister actually gifted me this DIY set over the holidays, and it's the most aesthetic thing ever. It's a tulip dome nightlight, which is the perfect decor piece. Oh man, I can't remember the last time I did something crafty and DIY like this just for fun. Tulips are one of my favorite flowers, maybe because they're so elegant and simple. Making this was actually pretty easy. You just need to take the tulips, thread them through the LED light, and twist them to make each stem. And then once all the stems are made, you just hot glue them onto the wooden base, secure the leaves, and then the stones. Altogether, it probably took me 30 minutes in total to craft this entire thing. I love all the subtle details from the tulips, the leaves, the stones, and especially the way it looks lit up when it's finally all assembled. I'm really happy that I took some time to DIY this. Thank you for hanging out with me and joining me in these snippets of my cozy life. I'll be making more cozy comfort content this year, so be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below what you'd love to see from me in 2023. It helps me out more than you think. I'll see you in the next one and have a great rest of your day.